We got the 2002, y'all, you know what I'm saying? We got the 2002, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yamaha Banshee right here. I'm not gonna lie, this bike look real clean, you know what I'm saying? This bike look real clean, but believe it or not, the customer pretty much put this bike together himself from what he told me. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think the, the, the frame is um, painted. Yeah, the frame is, is definitely painted. Um, he pretty much told me he had this bike at another mechanic, y'all. And um, the mechanic was pretty much like, he uh, the mechanic spray painted his motor from what he told me. The mechanic spray painted his motor and spray painted the frame when he was supposed to do powder coating on the frame. So the customer pretty much told me he um, pretty much had to have the motor sandblasted, you know what I'm saying? He had to have the motor sandblasted up in there because the um, mechanic sprayed his his whole motor, complete motor, black with black spray paint, y'all, which is crazy. Um, and this mechanic specifically, I'm not gonna say any names, but he always um, is being thrown under the bus, you know what I'm saying, under the bus or whatever, with multiple bikes. I have had plenty of bikes that came from this mechanic, y'all, but I'm not gonna say no names, you know what I'm saying? But we just worried, worried about the V-Touch. So I'm not gonna throw no names out there, but um, yeah, pretty much what he want me to do is um, do a walk around on the bike. You know what I'm saying? Do a, a quick walk around. Um, yeah, he don't have no front or back brakes. The brakes is not working, front or back. Then he have Chinese parts on his bike, such as the front brake, the master cylinder is the Chinese, and the, the rear, the rear um, caliper is a Chinese caliper. And um, the back brakes is not working as well as we can see, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely not ready for a test ride at all. And then another thing, um, he want me to put his air fitters on. He got a couple springs for the pipe, you know what I'm saying? Um, he also got a spring for the the back brake um, pedal right there. But yeah, so it's pretty much, we're gonna do a carburetor um, clean walkthrough. Um, yeah, you, you know, we just gonna check everything, man. We're gonna, make, we're gonna do a complete run through on this bike to make sure everything is right. Um, oh, another thing I noticed, his chain is very, like, loose. 100% loose, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. His chain is very, I think very, very loose. Well, it's not too loose, but it look like this is the wrong sprocket or something he have on his chain, bro. Y'all see how, oh, it is loose. I don't know, y'all see how this sprocket look, like, sit on it? I don't know. We got to see what's going on back there though, but his chain, something not right back there on the, um, the rear sprocket, cause it's like the, um, the chain is skipping on the, on, the, on, the, on the teeth of the sprocket. Yeah, the chain is like skipping, y'all. I don't know, but y'all let me know what y'all think on, um, y'all rate the bike on how it look though. Rate the bike on how it look and let me know what y'all think is coming. But other than that, y'all already know the vibe. We're gonna get the party started on his um, Banshee and hopefully we can have it running how it look. I got the bike up on this stand right here, y'all, because um, I'm going to show y'all a couple problems that I've seen with the bike. When I got the bike, the, um, the brakes bled or whatever, you know what I'm saying? This is the best that the um, that these brakes going to work, this Chinese system that he got on here. You know what I'm saying? This is the best it's going to work right here, y'all. But the brakes is actually working. Um, the back brakes are also working. You know what I'm saying? I got the back brakes working. This is the best that it's going to work, that the back brakes going to work with, um, with the Chinese setup. Chinese master cylinder setup. I mean the, the caliper. Yeah, the back brake. With his back brake, he got a a Chinese caliper. Or oh, the front brake. He got a Chinese master cylinder and Chinese calipers. You know what I'm saying? And then also another thing I seen, he needed an alignment on his front, his front um front wheels. He definitely needed an alignment, so I aligned it for him. As you can see, the tires look nice and straight now. Um, then also his screws, like he had a lot of screws loose in the front. A lot of screws that were loose, important screws that should be tightened, tightened up that was loose. You know what I'm saying? So if he would've been riding, I also gotta tighten up his front bumper, as you can see. Um, if he would've been riding and those screws would've came out, man, it would've, been, it would've been bad. And then with the back, you know what I'm saying, with this sprocket right here, this is the wrong sprocket for this bike. And that's why I went ahead and snatched off the hub real quick because I actually have a, um, a good used sprocket for him. The right sprocket right here for him. You know what I'm saying? A good used sprocket, even though it's not uh, pretty painted black or whatever, but it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna throw this, this sprocket on 
It's good to use sprockets. But nah, no, this is definitely the wrong sprocket. That's what I'm talking about, man. When you take your bike to certain mechanics, it, it's, it's crazy, bro. You gotta be careful. You know what I'm saying? Be real careful. But as you can see, when I turn the wheel, look how the sprocket is just has it jumping, like the, the chain jumping around the sprocket. That's not good. But um, yeah, other than that, that's um pretty much it for now. After, after I throw the sprocket on and tighten the chain up and everything, adjust the chain and put the wheel back on, I'm gonna move to the carburetors and we can do a nice carburetor clean and, and tune it up. And you know what I'm saying? Put all the screws and everything in. Got engine lights in and coolant, so it's looking good. So that shows that his head gasket, uh, you know, shouldn't be blown, but he barely rode the bike, so y'all already know the trick behind that. But yeah, man, other than that, um, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanna keep as much as OEM parts as you want on a, on, on a bike, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As, as much as OEM parts. But his, his back brakes is definitely, you know what I'm saying? His brakes definitely working. You know what I'm saying? With these Chinese parts, but I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, but other than that, y'all already know the vibes. Together, as y'all can see, um, got the, the sprocket on. You know what I'm saying? Got the sprocket on, the chain, nice and um, tight on the sprocket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this bike was, was missing a lot of those, you know, small, crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to also um, rerun the electrical wire to the stator and the, and, um, the wire harness and everything because they had the the wires, you know, close to touch, touching the pipe and stuff. So that could have, well, it was touching the pipe. It could have burnt the whole wire harness. You know what I'm saying? He also, they also had his, um, his head like wire touching the, the pipe too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this bike, it was definitely missing a, a couple, you know what I'm saying? A couple of things, but as y'all can see, I did my magic on it. Did my magic. Um, but yeah, like I said, if I was him, I, I would look forward to getting the original, you know what I'm saying, master cylinder for the brakes. But I got the brakes to work. You know what I'm saying? But I prefer the original front and back brakes. Everything work. But yeah, we're gonna see if we got that V touch, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna touch the pipe. You know what I'm saying? Pipe is cold. We're gonna do, let's see. We're gonna kick it. I got a lot of compression. Pretty much it right there sound much better 100 percent better you know what i'm saying you gotta do a test ride on to see what's going on and yeah i think it's hit the headlight buzz on um, blue you know what i'm saying that's how powerful the v-touch is you know what i'm saying but yeah i ain't gonna lie, sound pretty good the bike de definitely sound how um how i look now you know what i'm saying it definitely look good and sound good so it match nice but yeah y'all um y'all already know the vibe y'all just stay tuned for the test ride it's gonna be right in the next the next um the next video but yeah y'all let me know what y'all think on the o2 how it came out the old two um Yamaha Banshee with the V touch and um yeah it's oh it's thundering out there. Damn. 
Hopefully I can get a test ride in. But yeah, other than that, if y'all need any, any lemon fix, any bite fix, y'all already know where to hit me up at on Instagram, man. Uh, get it in, get a cycle, the V-Touch. But other than that, we're going to go from there.